I guess we started to just think about the architectural space that we're in and realizing that we are solving problems inside of offices that are open and, and maybe have other uh, variables to be considered. And so we started thinking that, well, we solve uh, not only just a, a simple lighting solution, we uh, will solve a, a creative solution or a, um, a design solution at the same time. And so what if we can actually add to that and solve a, a sound solution with the lighting? We're surrounded by air and sound is, very, is, sound is variations of pressure in that air. One of the best examples is clapping your hands. When you put your hands together, you're literally pushing the air molecules together. You're creating a high pressure area that eventually escapes and expands outward. And that's what you hear as a clap. Uh, everything that creates sound creates these pressure variations. Uh, but we mostly care about it in air because that's how we perceive it. So today we're going down to Elma, Washington, which is about an hour and a half south of Seattle to an acoustic testing lab. And it's supposed to be one of the largest labs in the world to do uh, this type of sound testing. It's an old nuclear facility. We're going to all this effort to test these materials because we want to really see how they perform. And the only way to do that is to take them into one of these uh, isolated acoustic chambers. And we have to do this so that we can uh, see how the fixture performs in this kind of uh, perfect scientific test. So we're working with this guy named Ron, who is uh, kind of the leading edge of acoustic uh, testing. We have two rooms in here. Uh, we have a source room, which is the second largest reverberation room in the world. And then we have our main reverberation room. Uh, in the source room, we produce uh, 142 decibels of noise, pink noise. Now, how loud is that? 130 dB is standing six foot from a 747 engine at full rev. And that's the level we do. So that's what we test with is that. So we have warnings on the doors not to enter the room while the sound is going because it will hurt you. So what we wanted to do was say, okay, if we're going to go into this category of acoustic lighting, let's really understand what we can do to affect it. Meaning we don't want to just put a little bit of this NRC material around one of our fixtures and, and call it acoustic because it, it really is disingenuous. So we wanted to actually make fixtures that solved a true problem. You have a space that needs lighting, that also needs acoustics. Let's try to fix that. Let's, let's put it into one package. <laughs> 